How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here. I have something very important for you guys to know, especially if you just received a PC for Christmas, or maybe you have a PC that you already have and that you just need to know what to do next. And what I stress to do is please back up the image of your PC. It's a breeze to set up. And if you wanna skip any moments, any parts, just make sure you go down into the timestamps right down below because I have it right there for you because I know how fast you want to get this PC up and running. What an image does is it creates an exact copy of your PC into another drive just in case if something happens and that way you don't lose any detrimental information in your PC. Regardless, if you have a pre-built PC, a custom-built PC, or a laptop, it is good to have. It is also good to have an image, especially if you're planning to upgrade your SSD and maybe you have just a single SSD or maybe you have a hard drive and you want to upgrade from that. Maybe it's in a much smaller storage solution. Maybe it's in a 256 gigabyte hard drive or SSD. It's really easy to do and it is with free software from Macrium. I will have it in the link right down below and I will show you exactly what to do to back up your image. It is also good practice to copy the image to another drive. You want to back it up in just an external hard drive, just like this, if your PC does not have an extra internal drive. And if it does, it is a good idea to put it into the internal drive and also good to put it into something like this, another external drive. So that way you do not lose any vital information that is important to you. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how to set this up. Right now I'm using AMD system. All right, fam bam. So I'm gonna go, go to Macrium Reflex website right here and we're gonna download it completely free. It is amazing software you gotta take advantage of. It is way better than the stuff Microsoft comes with because we all know it's not the greatest piece of software that there is out there. So go to Macrium free edition right here. You're gonna see Reflect 8 free download it and you don't have to enter your email if you want to you can if you want to share your information with them that's perfectly fine with me if you want to but i'm just going to continue here well i'm just going to go to personal free license click continue and we're going to download the software when the software downloads we're going to open this up. you're going to see a window just like this that's going to pop up make sure you get the free version it's going to say see user chris download macrium and we're going to download it now i already have it installed we're just going to go overwrite these existing files and we're just going to download it and after it downloads you should see a window pop up for the actual installer so let the installer go into the pc just follow through the wizard more than likely you're, you're not going to see any of these options it'll just say install i'm just going to click modify so you can get an idea of what it looks like on the install and after it's done, make sure you launch it now. If you have the drive ready to go, make sure you plug it into your PC. We're gonna refresh it, there it is. This is the drive I'm gonna back this all up onto. So what we will do is create an image of the partition required to back up and restore windows. Make sure you go into the left pane do not select this all and then back up because that is going to be pointless and you're going to be pretty pissed off when your pc does not start up so unselect this we're going to create image of windows here and we're going to create a folder to where you can access it i'm going to put it into the porter drive which i nicknamed t7 external drive it is two terabytes that i have it's a great ssd to have and if you're curious where to find it make sure you go to the description box as i have it listed there and what we will do is i'm going to create a folder for this so in order to create a folder for this all you have to do is click make a new folder and we're going to call this amd 7950x because that is the current desktop that I am working on to back up. Make sure you have enough room in your drive. If you don't, you're probably gonna get a message to let you know that your drive is not large enough to handle this volume. You can even create up a schedule to whenever you want to back up the drive if you wanna do it every week. But I don't suggest to back up every week if you have an external drive. Instead, just do it manually. Just go into next. And we're going to do a full backup here. 
and then click finish. Now we're gonna run the backup file, save as backup definition file, just to store your log and we can run the backup now. So as it backs up, let it do its thing. We'll get right back after the backup is complete. All right, fam bam, so it's all completely done. It usually doesn't take 19 hours and five minutes and 17 seconds for a image to happen. I just happened to finish up my day. I went back to my PC to check on the image. I had to delete some space. As you see, there was no space on the destination. Make sure you have enough room. And if you don't, you're just simply going to delete some space and just continue creating the image and it will complete it successfully. And that's why it ended up being 19 hours, five minutes and 17 seconds. So after your image is done, you click OK, you close it and now you can check it out in your folder. We'll go straight to the image. It'll be in the Porter drive. We named it AMD 7950X. We're going to open that up and you're going to see a disk image right here. Now this image is going to be your whole PC backup. This is practically a clone of your drive. So if you choose to upgrade your storage or your SSD, you can easily transfer it over. All you have to do is if you want to rescue your disk, you just simply go to this life tube right here. You click it and then you're going to go into USB hard drive. Once you go to USB hard drive, you're going to enable the multi boot recommended for your system. Let that happen and what it will do is it will build a USB hard drive right here for your PC and you can easily rescue it. And this will also be able to let you boot up Macroom, not in the BIOS, but after the BIOS in the boot menu, you'll be able to select Macroom or it will automatically start from there. And if it doesn't, I will have another video right here in the box right above when we do upgrade the SSD or the MVME and when we do I'll show you what to do and how to restore your image and it's going to be important to watch especially if you have a bigger volume drive otherwise say for example right now I have a two terabyte drive and say if I upgrade to a four terabyte drive then that might be a little bit of a problem you might only see two terabytes and Windows taking up the space that it was for example, if I go back to my Windows now, you can see it's about 676 gigabytes left. And I'll say the same exact thing, even though I'm upgrading a four terabyte drive. So it is important to partition correctly. Otherwise, it, you will not have the extra two terabytes that you paid for. Bam, bam, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who has a PC and needs this kind of help, make sure you share this video with them. Don't let them struggle. And if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band, guys, what do you think of Macrium Reflect? Let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you feel a lot more secure because I like to make sure that nobody's data gets corrupted because it is important to keep those files backed up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.